For those of you who thought my last update was a little weak, I give you Chemtrail City. Just like the other one a few nights ago, as the sun is going down, they make sure to get it all. What do we see here? One line, two lines, three straight lines clear across the sky. Towards this side, not so much. As we saw on update number one, I believe. Or edition number one. This is pretty wild, though. Ugh. What do you think of that? Here's my question is, where are the Navy or the Air Force? Where is the Army? Who are the air traffic controllers that see these planes on their radar and allow this to happen? Like, where are these planes flying from? Why isn't the Army protecting us? Why isn't the... Why aren't their jets scrambling when these planes go overhead spraying this crap? Where are all the environmental nuts saying that there's, you know, there's pollution in the skies? Where are all the environmental agencies saying, hey, where are all the anti-weather man manipulation and modification people saying, hey, you're modifying the weather, clearly, geoengineering, whatever you want to call it, but those aren't normal clouds when your grandkids look at you and say, Daddy, the clouds always look like that, clear straight lines. You know, we point over to clouds like over there, the fluffy ones, or over there somewhere, the clear skies. Oh, here we go. Catching them in action. It's a rare moment. Look at that. We're going to get a sideways view here, so you can see the tree and see him going straight up. He's going clear across the sky. It looks like it's a launch, right? It looks like he's going straight up. Oh, I'll put my finger here. Try not to move it. Ah, I can't do it. Maybe I can back up a bit. Put this down on something. Alright. Okay, now I got this bracelet here. Where are we? Where did that guy go? Here he is. Alright. Catching him in action. And it makes you wonder, is it the same the same pilot, you know, who's doing who did all these lines over here? And you can, I mean, you can clearly see that that is not a condensation trail or a contrail that is evaporating, like, right behind him, you know, like, contrails would evaporate. This one is clearly lingering in the sky, this beautiful man-made cloud that looks like he's launching into outer space. And I would think it was that if we didn't have uh, these things over here sort of indicating otherwise. You know, but your government loves you and uh, is totally complicit in allowing these happen, allowing this to happen. It's like the government that was complicit in allowing planes to be flown into the World Trade Center and allowing World Trade Center 7 to be demolished to the ground without any planes or anything flying into it. People had to stand back and allow that to happen, right? Because NORAD planes weren't scrambled and... Where were all the fighter jets in the air? So people had to be standing back and allowing that to happen. So this is sort of like a small version of that. Where somebody in government and all our military prowess and power is standing back and allowing this to happen. So chemtrails being the long and drawn out painful 9-11 hoax. 
long and drawn out painful 9-11 of our skies. I don't know what else to call it. And I'm trying to be... I'm trying not to be too, uh... Conspiracy theory... Uh... Too paranoid about it. But at the same time... I mean, this is what I'm looking at pretty much every day, every other day. Now, he stopped with that one, so that's good enough. He, so, that's long enough. Now, he's going to go lay another track down somewhere else. Look at this, though. Beautiful straight lines. I mean, does he fly back over this day when he's done? Unless it's an unmanned drone. Does he fly back over his, over his work and say, Yep, all good. Protecting the Earth from global warming. Does he fly back and say, all right, this dual-use cocktail of death and aluminum and whatever else there's in there, strontium, barium, does he go back over his day and go home and say, well, helping the world, saving the world, for the greater good? Or does he not know what he's doing? And just, you know, this is what you're supposed to do, and don't ask questions. We'll replace you with somebody else who will know what I'd start asking questions. Who knows? Let's go see this one again. I've been filming for six minutes now. So it's starting to spread out a little bit, you can see. And your grandchild will say, well, that's a normal cloud, Grandpa. That's what clouds look like. And you'll point to old video of like this, of these clouds, and he'll say, those aren't clouds. These are clouds. That's what clouds look like. Straight lines. <sighs> it's just such a backwards world we live in. Well, I'm I'm the silly one. I'm the crazy one for coming out at night up on the roof and filming the clouds. I'm the one who's who's silly. Not not the guy who's spraying lines in the sky where they can film so they can go to the top of Mount Shasta and pick up like a hundred million percent increase in aluminum. You know that's totally okay. Destroying the uh, trees and destroying the soil in Hawaii and all over this continent, but uh, it's for the greater good. And as long as you know you're not a a caring red-blooded ca Canadian or American or Mexican, as long as you don't care, you know that's that's what that's what. That's patriotism. That's patriotism, not to care. Not to look at that and not care. Patriotism is, you look at that and say, bless God, they're doing it for the greater good. If they want me to hate myself and put myself into a warm bath and slit my wrists for the environment, save the environment. Kill yourself. And if they got to kill us and our children, and sure, some people are allergic to cookies and cookies are good, but chemtrails are good for everybody. Some people die of nut allergies, but peanuts are good for everybody. Oh. Look what the skies have delivered up for us. Now look at this. I'm glad I kept filming. This is a plane flying through the air. And it's not leaving even a contrail. Oh, I lost it. I lost, there it is. Look. Exhibit A. It's not even leaving a contrail. It's not even leaving... We still got this guy's over here? Let's look over here. Where did this guy's thing go that he made? Oh, there it is. Oh, look. Two minutes later, now it's turning into a fluffy cloud. Nice big fluffy cloud. Anyway. <clears throat> so that guy over there was flying and didn't even leave a contrail or a chemtrail. For all those naysayers out there that say, oh, it's just the way planes are. No, it's not the way planes are. You can see propeller jets not leaving anything. You can see private planes, private jets not leaving anything. And you can see, you know, your regular transit planes leaving a little bit here and there. Absolutely ridiculous. Where's the military that's supposed to be protecting us? Why isn't anybody stepping in to do anything about this? Let's hold some people accountable. That's what I say. Let's hold them accountable for what they're doing. Hold the people that are supposed to be taking care of this. Hold the environmental agencies accountable. Hold the military accountable and start demanding answers. Clearly, the politicians that I've talked to and the ones that uh, I've emailed 
uh, aren't caring to return any emails. So, we have to go elsewhere. If any of you want to help, then uh, do the same thing. Film your skies. Oh, oh, there's another one. Where did I see that? Right there. Oh, it's hard to make out. I can see it with my eyeballs, but it's hard to make out on the camera. It's right here. It's a streak in between these clouds right across the air like he's doing it a few minutes ago and I've, I've missed it. There's also one way over there in the, in the sky. Well, obviously the guy's busy, you know. This is what he does all day. Usually it's in the mornings and right now we're sitting at uh, 6.30, 7 at night. So, welcome to the future, everybody. Welcome to geoengineering, according to John P. Holdren. Welcome to my 10-minute long rants that are just going to continue until we get some answers or until this stops or... You know, I want to know what's in these things, what's in the chemtrails, that if it's what's on Mount Shasta, then it's aluminum, barium, strontium, and uh, maybe a cocktail of different things. I want to know what's in it. I want to know why they're doing it. I want to know.